I should have brought some water, man. I feel you, bro. I was literally <laughs> thinking the same thing right now. Uh, it is what it is, man. Nah, man. It's ever since Ramadan ended, I've been, I've been getting hydrated, man. Mad hydrated. No, I haven't been drinking. I'm still like transitioning out of the hydration part. I don't drink a lot through the day. Nah, uh, sometimes I be feeling. I, I don't have that with water. I have that with food. Sometimes I'm like eating food in the afternoon, and I'm like, should I really be doing this? Because in my mind, I'm still like fasting mode. No, I don't have that. I don't have that. I eat less though. But I think this I is like the habit. Yeah. I'm trying to get out of it, and uh, the the last almost two weeks. I've just been busy and didn't really have the time to think about uh, food. But it's good though. Yeah. Because you're back at the office. No, nah, we're not back at the same office. It's um, a different office. Is it? <laughs> it's the same office, but a different office at the same uh, time. In the, in the last episode, we told the people we were going to renovate. And uh, I'm uh, happy with it, man. I'm happy with the new, s- new setup. I'm really happy with this. You guys see it? It's beautiful, right? I don't think they see it. They see something. Yeah, they see something. It's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't see what, what we actually worked on. And it's also strange to keep telling people about uh, stuff. I think the audio in my head is a little bit delayed, man. It's, it's annoying me. It's not direct. You gotta turn it off. Do I turn it off? You always say that. Now that it's turned off, it's gonna be better for you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, yeah, we. It's always strange to tell people how oh, we got a new setup. We're working on this setup because there are a lot different all the different rooms they don't see, so they would never understand what I mean. The funniest part is like us going away for four months, being like, "Yeah, we got a new setup and we got a new office room and everything." Yeah. And but this they setup, don't see that this setup is just an improvement of the old one. It is. It's a, it's a big improvement. It's really. a very very big improvement. The wall got better, in my opinion. The wall, the it, lights. It looks nice without the. Without the teleportation. The teleportation? Yeah. You mean like the color? How, how, we, how, we, how we teleport every single set to a different country. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even without that, it actually looks no, good. We now. don't need to teleport no more, I hope. We, we can just leave it like this too. It oh. actually looks good on camera. Yeah, I know, but it looks better if you see you teleporting. It is, it is. But it's, uh, it's been a fun two weeks. A lot of things happened and... Uh, a lot of things actually to talk about. There, there is. The question is, will we have the time to talk about them all? Because it's pretty late for us now. It is uh, almost 12 <coughs> p.m. or 12 a.m. Yeah. My bad. Been, uh, I, I'm, I was getting back into streaming again. And uh, I might have found the job that I always wanted to have. Actually, not. It's, it's ridiculous to say that. But, <laughs> uh, I'm... I'm uh, one of my goals this year, at the beginning of the start of this year, was to make money as a freelancer. Because mm-hmm. that's like one thing that I always wanted. And last year, I didn't really do it. And um, I, uh, I'm i stopping with my uh, part-time delivery job. I'm going to do some freelance work. Really? Yeah. And I applied for a couple. Uh, and uh, hopefully, they accept it. I will see how it goes. I've been applying to like 20. You gotta make your LinkedIn, bro. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, I've been applying to like 20 different jobs every day for the last three days. And I got a lot of calls back. It's tough, right? Huh? It's tough. It, uh, it's not tough. It is my own fault. I think I, I played myself by tell, letting them know that I still study. Because a lot of them said, ah, you're studying. Uh, I don't think we, we will be able to make it. I give them an excuse to deny me. So from uh, today on, I will never tell them I study. Don't tell them your name. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no I will tell them my name, of course, and my experience. But they, my, my, uh, my CV is good. So they can't say, oh, you never worked before, or you don't have experience with this or with that. The only thing they can say is, you're oh, so you're studying. studying. You don't have the time. So I had that today, too. I had three calls today that said, oh, you're studying. Ah, uh, that's fucking. And weird. then I recognized the pattern. I was like, okay, next I'm updated. I updated it. I updated my CV. I'm, nobody knows I'm studying now. Cause I thought letting them know I study, let the let them know what level I study at, so yeah. they know I got brains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But apparently that's not how it works. Cause they don't look for brains. They just look for people with nothing going on in their life. You know what? Well, well, there's a pattern. So they can put you in the system, yeah. the matrix. <laughs> now you gotta look at the. 
most of the uh, job applications, the forms are only read in like a F pattern. I don't know if you heard about it. No. So you have the application form. Yeah. And there's literally like studies done to what the application people look at. Because there's yeah. so many people applying to sp specific jobs yeah. that literally what they look at is, so the first part, yeah. not even fully, they look at like three quarters. And then the second part, they just skip over. The third part, they just look over to the half. And the rest, they literally just read the, the first piece. And the rest, they don't read it. Okay. There literally someone made a... It was in the news recently too. It was something like my dicks is huge or some shit like that. That was like the, the name. Yeah. And he applied to like so many different like high ranking jobs that he can get like so like good shit with. And the only thing that, that was like loaded was the first part and the rest was just bullshit. It was literally like the most horrible shit that like the same person, if you read that shit, you're going to be like, bro, I will never hire this person. What the fuck? Mm. But it was to prove a point that no one reads the like after the first part, literally. Yeah, but do you think it's done manually? Yeah, it's I done would manually. guess that people actually fucking read that shit. Yeah, but they don't read it. Ah, the people don't read it. No, they only read like the first part. Ah, okay. I thought maybe it's like a uh, bot thing. No, the bot will read the whole thing. That's yeah. the whole thing. People, own, people are lazy. Yeah. Imagine, imagine you gotta re read shit forty times. Yeah. You're seeing a specific name, whatever. Okay, I get the name, the first part. The introduction part if it's boring it's gonna be like ah next yeah if it's gonna be like interesting if it's gonna hook you into the it's like it's like a tiktok literally yeah if it's if it has a really good hook and it hooks you you get you can apply okay interesting man maybe i need to look into that a little bit more it's it's, it's so, like mental bro yeah. if you look at my linkedin as well my linkedin is so bullshit i worked at twitter for six well, months there's also one thing i recognize recognized <laughs> I have a lot of bullshit on my CV too. Yeah. But some bullshit is too much bullshit. For example, saying you worked as a firefighter. Now that's really good bullshit. I have that. <laughs> that's two years as a firefighter. <laughs> so they think I'm a big... That's amazing. <laughs> oh my God, I should do that too. Uh, was, because most jobs, they don't ask for pictures. <laughs> so they, they, so they just read it. They think, oh, young guy. Firefighter, oh, two years, was and he's alive. <laughs> Huge. And That's crazy. Then one, some skinny guy shows up. <laughs> to the you heard the guy driving without <laughs> the license. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, nah, so uh, it'd be interesting, man. It's uh, I'm kind of in a flow now that I'm kind of taking steps to my goals. That's good, man. That's really uh, good. I'm really happy about it, and uh, yeah, this is one of them because I. Uh, always wanted to change I always for the last couple of months I wanted to change the setup make it better and I think this one is good for the next year at least at least we're, I think I think it's here. really really good maybe that we will have some little upgrades maybe better mic stands and maybe better the mic stands chairs. are actually nice man I like maybe the mic stands better chairs you know yeah, that, the one thing we need to yeah, change are chairs and a light behind you yeah because uh, I yeah, like just small better. stuff. We, yeah, exactly. We're we going to change a lot, of, a lot of things. But one thing that we will be changing, which is huge. Actually, no, not yet. I will tell that in a segue. In a segue, okay. Because I, I, really, I have a really, really interesting subject that's going to tie into what we're going to change. Okay. You know what? And I'll tell you right now. Yeah, just go for it. Going back to the old version of this podcast, let's say, show. The start? Not, not the start. Not the sort of start. The... the the re 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 brand, not the re 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 re, re, La re Summer brand. last year? Summer last year, yeah. Okay. I was telling you about how the bananas might go extinct because you love bananas. Yeah. I love bananas, right? I read something. I, I, I Actually, I didn't read it. I read it partially, but I heard something on TikTok from someone that I investigated more that's very, very interesting. Apparently, back in the, back in the olden days, there used to be a company called... El Pupo. El Pupo. El Pupo. Okay. In Latin America. Yeah. You know what that means? L is D, I guess. Yeah. And Pupo, I don't know. Give me a guess. Poop. <laughs> that was a good guess. Octopus. <laughs> That's horrible. That's a horrible. <laughs> How do you exhibit a common octopus? Because caca means poop. Well, how the fuck do you think I hear El Pupo and I think about ex octopus? I don't think that you're going to think octopus, but I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm at least not caca. Poop caca. makes more sense. 
No, it doesn't. It, uh, it at does not the colors. If you said pulp, it, it wouldn't make sense. The pulp? The pulp. The uh, shit that comes from like origins yeah. and shit. No, no. Nah. The octopus. Yeah. Let me, let me get my preparation. So basically, if you, back in the day, if you needed a coop, do you know what the coop is? Uh, I know one coop, the military coop. Exactly, the military coop. Oh, okay, so they so did So in the back in the day, if you wanted to have a military coop, yeah. or you wanted to have some shady business done, you some assassination, el po- 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 you po- called El Pupa. El Pupa. And they would do it for you. But they had a, they had a rule. Okay. Let's say you take over a country. Yeah. They get 40% of the land. Yeah. Why? Because they are a poop. They helped you. But why do they need 40% of the country? Why specifically 40? Yeah. No, no, not specifically. But why do they need so much of your country? So in case you do something, they can nah. coop or something, get it back? Because they grow bananas on the 40% of the country. Okay. Because what El Pupo was doing was they were also known as the United Fruit Company in America. And they had the best bananas in the world. It was so good that it was like sweet candy-ish. It was the last mm-hmm. banana that died out. It was sweet. It was like candy-like. It was the original fast food. That's what the dude said. Okay. And I believe him. Shout out to the dude. I forgot his name. The original fruit. So was was them making banana a cover for their shady business? No. Or they generally it's, it's made just, bananas too? They generally made bananas. That's how they earned the money. Because it was so good that that's how they earned their money. And with that money, they could uh, help countries take over other countries. So they could make more bananas. Bananas, <laughs> bananas and more money. Yeah. It's crazy. Sick, sick, man. But the problem is, when you have the same banana, yeah. what happens? What, what did I tell you in the last rebrand of the show? The bananas, if one virus comes, they're all going to die out. Yeah. So what happened? Inevitably, so many bananas... One virus came and all the bananas were wet, just gone. Yeah. So they had to get to a new banana. Yeah. The current banana is their new banana. Yeah. So what happened is, because that happened, all the workers, everyone was, was jobless. No one had jobs anymore. Yeah. And they have so much of the countries. So the countries were like, hey, let us at least buy our 40% back. Yeah. And they were like, okay, bro. What would you guys want to give for it? And they were like, ah, oh, this and that, you know what? we'll give you the money back that you paid us in taxes. Yeah. And they were like, how much did you give in taxes? And they were like, uh, you know what? Actually, the US, these people are communists. <laughs> 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 and they were like, if you fuck with us, bro, we're going to fuck with you. Yeah. Give us our money, bro. I'm not going to, I don't want my tax money back. I want my real money back, you know? Yeah. So what happened? All that shit happened. And all these countries, they started striking. They were like, nah, bro, get out of our country. Get out of our country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at the end of the day, the company was like, bro, this shit is bad for business. No one wants to buy the bananas anymore. We're losing a lot of country. People are striking. We need to rebrand. Yeah. So they they changed their name. What? The Chiquita Banana. No! <laughs> yeah. I thought so. And Ch- currently, they're doing Chiquita the same ba- shit. Chiquita they banana. still do the same shit. But what countries are they? The whole Latin to? America, bro. Shout out to Chiquita Banana. That's crazy, right? It's the one with the logo with the woman dancer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out to So Banana. Chiquita Banana has that shit. And they still do this. They Chiquita do that Banana shit. And they're going to have the same problem again. Because of all the banana that works for them, yeah. they're going to run out of bananas. So a new banana is going to come yeah, after that's, that. That's going to take time, hopefully, for them. I uh, hope it's Hopefully. Them. Yeah. But that's fuck, bro. Really and on that note, man. just like how they rebranded, we're going to rebrand. Because we also had the fires. Uh, the virus of people not being able to find the podcast. That is not, no, that's not really a virus. Nah. It's, 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 a, it's a great, we love the name. Yeah. We love the logo. We it's love everything same about same. it. I still but want it on a mug. No, we, we, let's be honest. The, t- the name also came spontaneously. Yeah. Because it was supposed to be the Zero Point Show again. And on the first episode, I randomly said, this is the most consistently inconsistent podcast. And I was like, and yes. I was bro. like, yeah, man. This Exa- is exactly what this is. Yeah. The constant inconsistence. And, uh, it's a mouthful. The, how many months? Six, seven, eight? I think for the last eight months we've been consistent in consistency. Pretty consistent too. I think yeah. we only missed two or three weeks in total. One we because missed uh, last week. rebranding at the beginning of the year. Beginning of the year we uh, we missed a couple of episodes but not... No, we missed one I think. No, no, in the beginning we didn't miss any. 
we missed because we were rebranding from uh, the old one from the zero point show actually was that was originally the constantly consistent too? no no it's what i'm telling you a consistent consistent came in oh, september yeah, or something yeah like it, did, it did it did and so yeah we missed no we missed a whole month in the beginning what do you mean how no we didn't miss a whole yeah, month from january to from january to february we missed no a we month. didn't know bro we missed one or two weeks max two weeks someone's ringing the door yeah, you're expecting somebody I'm not expecting anybody. Okay, don't fuck it, bro. No, no, we don't. Let me, let me, let me, let me quickly. No, no, bro, like leave it alone. Who could it be, bro? Uh, maybe some junkie or something. I don't know. Maybe somebody ordered food and the, the person that delivers things. Oh, it's their bill, bro. That's actually creepy, man. That would be creepy if he was alone. You the thing. Bro, this thing. happened to me at 4 a.m. Yeah, I think it's there are some random people, maybe drunks or something. But yeah, let's continue. Yeah. So basically. Mm, Mm, mm. I lost a train of my thought. Uh, it was about to ask me oh, yeah. episodes. I think we missed a month. Um, but okay, uh, without that, you keep going. we missed that because we were rebranding and we were moving everything around because, uh, of course, Levi Dendo, our boy, had to leave the group. And right now, we missed one week last week because of eight because we are both Muslim and we are celebrating Ramadan. Oh, you're right. We missed the whole month. Yeah, right? How, how I don't, why don't I remember this? Because we were really busy during that month. Okay. Because we had to like do a lot of stuff. Okay. So we missed that and we missed a week. Uh, uh, three last week. We missed three episodes. And then last week was, because uh, we also was uh, uh, reorganizing, redesigning, re everything. And uh, today, actually not today, for the past couple of months, we were thinking of starting another podcast in Dutch. And you had a name for it. Because I already had my own podcast, yeah. one episode with Akumanjin, we've had him previously, and we also talked about that in our, in that podcast episode, where I was gonna have my own podcast named Osmosis, because my yeah. name is Oz, but Osmosis is a really catchy name, people like it, it's very easy to remember, way easier to write, and way easier to remember and write than constantly in consistence, because like Rush Be Real, it's a good name, but even us in the beginning got like confused here and there. Yeah. Like, is it inconsistently inconsistent or consistently inconsistent? So it's a mouthful. It's like a tongue twister, and that's bad for branding, of course. Yeah. And it's too many words. And we yeah. went back to the one word, aka osmosis. Yeah. So yeah, with this, I welcome you to the Official first episode. First episode of osmosis. Of osmosis. And yeah. And uh, the constantly yeah. inconsistent is gonna stay but in a different format and you're gonna hear about that soon as well yeah because we have a different uh, YouTube a channel because you all go on holiday yeah exactly I will be gone from next week to actually for you guys not because the podcast is gonna still be going on yeah but, but the next two episodes I'm not gonna be physically here yeah so yeah in a month you're gonna see the other stuff that's actually crazy we're gonna have to talk about like what happens next week no, but that's, <laughs> 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 that's normal. A lot of people do that. So it's uh, it's been a long journey, and uh, I think Osmosis. We already had this conversation with a lot of people too. It's a sick name, and we wanted to keep use that for the Dutch one. But it's I think it's better to use it in the, for the English. Exactly. One. And not only did it have Os in it, but all <laughs> it also has Mo in it. Yeah. And he's Mo, and I'm Oz. If you didn't know, because uh, I go by Blairson, yeah. go by Ample Mo. But yeah, in that case, it, it, both of our names are in it, literally. And it's a very catchy name. It's a one-word name. It's it's good for branding. And, you know, some people might have gotten attached to constantly inconsistence, and we appreciate that. But you got to get attached to a different name now. <laughs> <laughs> and the consistent, consistent name will still say The brand will still uh, stay. But uh, it will be in a different format, format like you said. And uh, yeah, we've been looking. I'm, I'm really looking forward to announcing that in a couple of weeks, yeah, actually in a month. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. And I can like finally tell people like on the go what my podcast name yeah. is because before this it was like oh it's the constantly inconsistent. It was like, hard for people. What does that, to what does that mean? Spell like, too, man. It was spelling too. Like how do you write that? What does it mean? Because we don't live in an English country. Yeah. What does it mean? How do you spell that? Uh, Oh, okay, that sounds interesting, this and that. But now it's like, it awakes questions because you're like, what the fuck, osmosis. Yeah. And it sticks with you. A lot of people have that. So yeah, osmosis is the new thing, boys and girls. And, and whatever. And, and the third one and the fourth one and the other 76 ones. Maybe there are 77 now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. But Sorry if I left uh, you out. 
it's a uh, now it's, it's all right man it's a uh, it's good busy busy weeks a lot of things happened in the past weeks too that i wanted to talk about on the previous episode but we just didn't uh, are we missing one episode or two we missed one episode we sure. missed last week yeah, yeah we missed last week because tuesday was the last the, the week before no that wasn't the last week no i don't remember recording the week before that yeah we did we did Sure. But did you miss last week? Because uh, eight happened. Uh, Our last upload was ten days ago. Maybe the, the 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 last week just feels longer then because I've been busy. Maybe that's all Ramadan, bro. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. yeah, we had we had eight, bro. Three days uh, doing yeah. all that shit. Yeah. We were supposed to record on the last day of fasting, and we were just too tired. It was like the last day hits different, bro. No, the problem was eat supposed to be a day earlier, so we planned on it being a day earlier. No, like, yeah, I wasn't. No, I did. So I was like, okay, uh, we record on uh, Tuesdays. No, yeah, yeah Tuesdays. Tuesdays. And Tuesday was supposed to be. Uh, it was supposed to be Wednesday eat. for us. No, no, for us it was uh, Tuesday. So I was like, okay. Well, yeah, look at the moon and shit. Yeah, I was like, okay, <laughs> Tuesday we got, it's gonna be Tuesday. I will have the energy. We can record it, and if yeah. not Wednesday, but Wednesday was the celebration, so we couldn't. And Thursday, also the second day of the celebration, but we were also busy with renovating, so yeah. we just got into it busy into it and a lot of things happened and there were like some stuff that i wanted to talk about and tell you about but i don't know if you already heard about them tell them bro no you you i don't care about them <laughs> uh, tell them <laughs> uh one thing that i wanted to talk about was the wrestlemania 40 i I, I didn't the only thing i saw was like uh the rock and and don't who else that. were they I fighting together you? no i don't know who you saw i'm asking you no i didn't see it what did you see I saw Roman Reigns and The Rock yeah. winning. I saw The Undertaker versus John Cena and The, the Rock and shit. I don't know what you saw, bro. Wasn't that the thing? No, no. I'm, I'm going to tell you. So, WrestleMania yeah. is originally a yearly event of the WWE, which is like the wrestling uh, thing for the people that don't know. It happens once every year, and it's like the biggest wrestling if, event. Is it SmackDown and Raw? Yeah, yeah. It is everything together. It's like oh, WrestleMania okay. is like the biggest. It's like the World Cup final, basically. Ah, okay, okay. And it happens every year once. But in 2020, because I think it was COVID and they had a lot of things were going on, they made a change and made it twice a year. So really? They always they happen in the same week every year, and most of the. In, in a Saturday and a Sunday, so back to back or stuff like, maybe a day or two between them. And for me, as a wrestling fan, after 2015, 14, 15, wrestling kind of died for me. And it did for a lot of fans, a lot of wrestling fans. Because the story thing wasn't uh, good. People kind of like, it was like this era of a lot of people. All people always knew it is fake, but a lot of people were like seeing it more fake yeah so it started like instead of like being an entertainment and you go there to watch a show like you you don't go to the cinema and say ah this movie is fake fake the scene is fake huh? but a lot of people started to feel that way they were like okay this is shit and the stories weren't really good and people just didn't really enjoy it and for me the uh, one of the reasons i stopped was because there was no big main guy no more the time that i stopped the WWE was pushing Roman Reigns as the face of WWE, or like wrestling, basically. And I didn't really like it. The other fighters didn't really have like the sparkle the other fighters in the past used to have. Like the personas were not really there. I thought they were all lame, and I just quit. But every year at WrestleMania, I would still check it, because it's like the World Cup final, like I yeah. told you. So every WrestleMania, I would check it a little bit, and I had to give it to Roman Reigns. He made the WWE he revived the WWE for a lot of a lot of fans. No, people hate him, right? No, this yeah, this, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a story. But yeah, Wrestle WrestleMania forty, uh, people are already considering it top two. All time. All time. Really? All of the forty in terms of of course. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people are considering that and it was so fucking good. I, w I watched it because I was literally I watched just a week and I saw it on TikTok, somebody was saying, Yeah, it is tonight. I was like, ah, oh, you know what, let me check it. And bro, the one for me, the best wrestling event I saw in my life. It was so fucking good. 
really so fucking good the story the the whole thing was good and what made it good was like I you said I said rumoring and rumoring started uh, as a wrestler in 20 for the WWE in 2012 I believe and he, yeah he started uh, wrestlers go through different eras so he yeah. started as like a guy that the name he why he got the name Roman Reigns was because he was supposed to be a Roman the Roman reign, like the, oh. the so, you see, so he came into scene as like the sexy, uh, long hair, Mediterranean looking guy that was supposed yeah. to be Roman, and he was like really built up like a Roman soldier, and uh, he was fighting. But people already, the fans already saw there are different type of uh, wrestlers, and he was this wrestler that wasn't really uh, athletic. What was he? He's he's like he's, he's, like, he's strong. He, he's he not uh, no I don't know how to say it, but he couldn't. He didn't have the flair. Uh, a, no, he didn't have a big arsenal. He couldn't do a lot of different tricks. Ah, okay. you think for example, Rey Mysterio. That's what Rey Mysterio does crazy stuff. He's like he's like John flair, Cena like crazy. got crazy moves, but Romarine didn't have a crazy move. But that's normal because he's a young guy starting. So people were like, okay. Know what? Uh, there are a lot. There are like filler wrestlers. Yeah. So nobody really cared about him, and then the WWE started to push him because they want him to be the face. Why? Because he comes from a family of wrestlers. The Rock and shit, right? Yeah. They're not really family. No, they're yeah. cousins, right? <laughs> nah, you're lying to me, right? Nah. They're cousins in the WWE universe. Nah, they're, they're they're the both their grandfathers, I think, made like a blood out in on, on one of the shows. Nah, That's why they, yeah. <laughs> That's why they're like <laughs> they're not really blood cousins. If I'm nah. correct. They're not really family, IRL, if I'm correct. But they both have the same tattoo. Because they're from the same uh, place. I uh, I think they're both from Hawaii and they have like oh. cultural stuff. Obviously. Yeah, they were blood brothers. The yeah. the grandfathers were Yeah, like, yeah, the grandfathers were blood brothers. But yeah, so his fa their, their family was known in the wrestling and that was like one of the reasons Fins McMahon was like okay you know what let me make this boy the face because I know his father I know his you know uncles I know his grandfather his fake cousin yeah. <laughs> and, uh, his fake cousin you know <laughs> amazing people and he's a good looking guy so yeah. okay he, they made him part of a trio to help him develop because they knew he wasn't he wouldn't be good at the at the mic he wasn't good he wouldn't, he wouldn't be uh, accepted by the community quick because he spawned out a random and they so they put him in a trio that was called the Shield with uh, Seth uh, Rollins and uh, Dean Ambrose, which were experienced uh, wrestlers from another uh, uh, promotion, but came to WWE together as a team. And the plan was let the let the fans love them, and that that happened for two years. The fans loved them. They were like a good group, and they were like a heel. And heel was like the bad guys. They were like yeah. anti-authority. So like NXT would, and shit. Yeah, yes, they would they would randomly or NXT, they know. always like entered their fights through the crowd. They didn't come out from like the uh, really? back, yeah. yeah they were like the old ambush people, right? Yeah, yeah, like that. So they would always come through the crowd and the crowd really loved them. And to m to make like to make them break, they made Seth Rollins in 2014. They made him uh, backstab them. And on stage, he like smashed a chair uh, on both of them. And uh, it's like wha where the rumor in solo journey was supposed to start. But the fans fucked with Seth Rollins. Yeah. The guy that was supposed to be the bad guy and Roman was supposed to be the good, was supposed to be the good guy. People loved him more than Roman. So people started to boo Roman and shit. Every fight that Roman was winning, people were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is this guy winning? Nobody likes him. It makes no sense. And it got so bad that when he won, I think he won against Brock Lesnar or The Undertaker was one of the he, fights. He beat the Undertaker's whole stadium, record, I think. The whole stadium was booing him. Yeah, he beat... People had signs of like, kill yourself, yeah. Roman. He, I think he beat one of Undertaker's records. Or he gave him like... Because Undertaker in something, I forgot what it was, Undertaker was... Uh, he broke the streak. 23 and 0 or yeah, something, he and he broke the streak, I think. Yeah. Or it was Brock Lesnar, because Undertaker maybe lost three times, first, I think. I don't remember. Maybe it was Brock Lesnar first, and then... No, no. It was first the Undertaker. He broke the Undertaker thing and people started to hate him more. And the hate just keep going and going. And it even got so far, uh, the WWE started to like to try to manipulate the fans and they brought in uh, the big boy, The Rock. Because they knew the fans love him. Yeah. And in one of the fights, 
he won and the rock was holding his hands up and stuff because Vince McMahon thought okay maybe this will help to calm the crowd a little bit and see him as oh he's a family of this guy but with the rock in there they still booed the whole stadium they couldn't talk we were booing yeah. kill yourself and shit and the hate kept going and going and going and and in the documentary there was a documentary released of Roman Reigns ex- explaining his whole uh, journey and he was like he wasn't really motivated and he didn't know what to do he was thinking about qu- quitting wrestling till 2018 2018 he was supposed to fight in one of the promotions they do promotions before the fights he comes out he goes in there he walks into the ring and people still booing boo 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 yeah. and he picks up the mic and he says hello guys my real name is Joe something something is his real name because he was not Roman Reigns no more and he said yeah I've been battling with leukemia for the past 11 years and it is back and he was the champion at that time yeah. so the crowd suddenly was silent because now it was real. Not, it, shit got real I was like yeah I've been fighting leukemia for the past 11 years unfortunately it's back and uh, I need to go into therapy and take care of myself and of my health And he said, I know you guys didn't like me and I know I need to let this belt go now, but I promise you, I will beat this cancer, I will come back and then I will make you guys love me. Three months later, he beats it. He comes back, the fans love him for two fights and then they boom again. <laughs> because, <laughs> because shit got back to the, to the same story. The, the company pushing him, people not understanding yeah. why he's winning against people, they, their favorite. He's a lame fighter. He's not good at the mic. He can't. He doesn't do good promo. His fighting is not really entertaining. People are still hating him. And then he goes offline for a couple uh, months. 2020, 2019, the whole uh, COVID, Co- COVID shit happens. Shit happens yeah. and he gets injury because, uh, because of injury, injury he can't fight no more. And then uh, he goes in his absence. He comes up with something and he goes to Vince McMahon. He said, I'm tired of trying to be this good guy. I don't want to be this good guy no more. It doesn't work. and I don't want to be. And if you don't want to make me become a bad guy, then I will just quit. Mm-hmm. And then Vince, he sold the story to Vince McMahon. Vince was not really happy with it, but he said, you know what? Let, at this point, they don't love you anyway. So yeah. what's this worst that can happen? And they let him go. And in on, on his return fight, Suddenly you see his, after a month of not hearing nothing from him, you hear his song, he runs, he j- comes into the ring with uh, uh, Paul, Paul Heyman, which is like the guy that's like the, co- the with the contracts and there's like the promotion of a lot of fighters. He's, I think his most fighter, famous fighter was Brock Lesnar in his Brock Lesnar era. And he, you see him signing the contract that this guy's going to be his, his manager. manager yeah. And then he runs in the ring, he beats the guys. People are kind of excited. And then he goes on this evil guy journey. And during the COVID, because the stadiums were empty, you could hear a lot of things. Yeah. And Roman started to do something that people never kind of heard. He started to talk during his fights. So he was like trash talking and making jokes and shit while fighting with his opponents. Yeah. That's something people didn't see before. And just aside, they didn't know about him. So people started like to see, oh, what the fuck? Roman is talking, what is he saying? You can clearly hear the jokes he's making. He's laughing at his opponents and shit. And people start to like him more. And he gets his own story where he fights his cousins, which are really like his blood, uh, blood related cousins. cousins. Yeah, his okay. blood related cousins. He literally grew up with, the, with, the, with them since he was like four or something. And he starts to fight them and he wins. And then he's like, he's going on this, the whole thing since the him saying, uh, him going through cancer was like, I will make you guys acknowledge me. And that became one of his bars. And after every fight, he would say, I would, I, you guys ha- will acknowledge me. And then his cousins come and he will say, and they had this whole thing about who's going to be the head of the table or like the t- family. Yeah. And they found his cousins, he beat the shit out of them. He won, he was the head of the table and he had his, great grandfather or uncles come out and give him like this Hawaiian thing and then he became the tribal chief. Really? Yeah, and the tribal chief was is the best, I would say, storyline that the Dodo we had in the past maybe 15 years. It's so It was so fucking good. 15 is crazy though, right? Nah, uh, 15 is crazy. 15 is not crazy. Yeah, it is. The last prime thing was John Cena and that was in 29, 
No, Randy Orton was 29. Maybe 10, 11 was John Cena. But after that, it was not good. You forgot about the the, the Undertaker and Kane story. No, but that's oof, that's fucking old, no, bro. That's, that's, that's 15 years old. No, bro, that's fucking old. That's 2009, bro. No, no, that's fucking, uh, that's fucking old, man. But that's not, that's, that one doesn't even come close to the really? tribal chief. Yeah, bro, that was so good that he he literally turned the whole thing up and the, the he would just he would just do this. And the whole stadium would just do this. Else. It's like acknowledging the tribal yeah. chief. He were, he's number one. He And he started to call himself number one. He always said we are number one because he was a cousin. And he was started to call everybody else twos. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the twos and shit. And uh, he went through a really, really good, uh, really good fill-in arc. And uh, since 2020, he had the longest WWE champion reign ever. Really? It lasted for 1,316 days. He didn't lose his belt. That's crazy. That's the longest ever. That's, I think number two was Hulk Hogan back in the yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And the way he lost, bro, the whole, it was so fucking good. The person he lost to. Cody, who, who did he lose it to? He lost to Cody Rhodes. And Cody Rhodes has also had a sick story because his family was in the in the WWE. And uh, yeah, the, his, bro, his, bro, his story is also so good, bro. But that happened he's last week, right? Guy. Yeah, he's now the face of the WWE. Oh, he's a new face. He's a new face. But is he young? He's, uh, no, he's, I wouldn't say young. He's in his 30s too. Yeah, right. Wow, bro, good. This was so good. And so, in in uh, WrestleMania 39, they, he fought. It was, it was The Rock and Roman Reigns. It was tag fight in the main fight. Uh, Roman Reigns, uh, The Rock versus Seth Rollins, who was the guy that yeah. created Roman Reigns, and Cody, who, was, who wants to become the champion. They fought. The tribal chief won. And yeah. his cousin. <laughs> Yes. Did he did he beat The Rock too to become? Did he like call The Rock the number two as well? Yeah, he said uh, The Rock was trying to do his uh, if you smell and he literally stopped him. He said, "Acknowledge me, number two. I'm the tribal chief." No, he's also his. Uh, so then The Rock acknowledged him. What the f- something the fans didn't expect. And That's he, crazy. Everybody went to this in, in this fucking motion of Roman being the number one, and then the final fight. Oh, the final fight was so good, bro. And one of the thing was Roman Roman Reigns would always lose the. Imp- was losing the important fights, but his cousins would jump in and they, they would save him. That's like one of the things also yeah. part of the story. So every time shit got w- crazy, one of his cousins some- somehow popped up, beat the shit out of the person while the referee was not seeing or something and then Roma <laughs> would finish it. So the, the people started more like to hate him too. But it was a hate love. So people loved him winning because he was number one. Yeah. So uh, the final fight comes. It's now only Cody versus Roman. They fight. They had an amazing fight. They were fighting full energy. Roman developed as a fighter. He got his arsenal is better. He moves better. He sells better. Everything better. But he kind of starts to lose the fight. No, Cody kind of starts to lose the fight. And then... Let me say it correctly. Yeah. And then... Uh, Seth Rollins because in, in the previous in 39 he said I'm going to be the shield because they were in the shield he said I'm going to be the shield of Cody and uh, he Cody uh, Cody losing the, my guy Seth Rollins comes in they try oh no, I'm, I think I'm saying correct uh, I'm not saying it's correct uh, Roman was losing his cousin came in he's, he saved him but yeah his cousin saved him but uh, while, he, while before Roman could finish it, because they were all both tired, and his cousin literally was trying to throw Roman on the guy so that the ref could start yeah. to count, and then suddenly you hear John Cena song. <laughs> and we were like, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? We're, John Cena's not supposed to be here. Yeah. And John Cena lost a couple of years earlier to Roman Reigns because of that cousin. Because that cousin did the same thing to him. Who's that cousin? And then uh, it uh, says, I forgot his name. Solo he's called. So John Cena comes and people are hyped because John Cena is like the biggest WWE star ever. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, people are hyped and he jumps into the ring and he beats the shit out of Solo. He throws him out of the ring. He does his move on uh, Roman. He he gets out of the ring. 
he, st- he starts beating the cousin more. And then you hear the rock song. Then the rock comes in, and he and they, and he and uh, John Cena face off. And then he d- does his move on some, John Cena. John Cena is getting beat up, and then suddenly the lights go off out. Hear the thing. Nah, and the fans going crazy. Ah. It's actually crazy. And then lights turn on, and then you see the, the, the rock looking at the entrance while screaming and shit because he's he also has a story with the Undertaker, yeah. but Undertaker is standing behind him, interacts with for some reason. And then he turns around, the Undertaker does his finish move, and then it goes talks again, he disappears, and the lights turn on. And then Seth Rollins uh, t- gets into the ring. Trying to no, I think that happened before. Yeah, it, before the Undertaker came. So, so when did, did the Undertaker take away the John Cena? No, John Cena was getting beat up by yeah, Rock. yeah, yeah. But and he, then while John Cena was getting beat up by the Rock, Seth Rollins came on for the fans without announcement, and he was, he was. I almost hit uh, the Rock with a chair, but Roman Reigns saw that and he ran and he speared him. That's like his move. He does a spear. It's called. Yeah. So he speared him, and then the Rock was confused and was like, "What the fuck? He saved me." And it was funny because the day before, by accident, Roman hit the rock with a spear while he was trying to hit Seth Rollins. So uh, there, uh, all the stories came, like 10 years of stories came mixed, all the shit. And then, uh, if I'm say, saying correctly, uh, the rock was confused that uh, Roman saved him and he was in shock, he was screaming. Then the Undertaker came, the Undertaker finished the rock, and then disappeared. And then Roman Reigns stands up. You see on the right, Cody, that's that that's uh, hanging to the ropes. On the left, Seth Rollins hanging to the ropes. In front of Roman, a chair. And this is the biggest dilemma that the Roman Reigns had for the last 10 years. He couldn't get over the fact that Seth Rollins betrayed him. So instead of finishing the guy he's fighting, he picks up the chair and he beats the shit out of Seth Rowling. And then that gives Cody enough time to recover. Then he does his special move, uh, his finishing move three times on the Roman Reigns back to back to back. And then he wins. And then Triple Chief lost because he couldn't get over his one thing that he couldn't get over of the in the in the over the past ten years was his betrayal. Him getting hit back, getting hit with a chair, and he hit him with a chair, and then that's how he lost. Did he lose his title now? Yeah, he's uh, he's not the tribal chief no more. Yeah, they kept going. He he's on a vacation now, I think, because he's been doing doing his thing for so long. Yeah. And his cousin continued, and they were turning. And now his cousin is t- is the tribal chief. Solo is the tribal chief. Ah, he said okay. like there's consequences for losing. He's not number one no more. I'm number one now. I'm the tribal chief, and now they they are going. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Story. But it was uh, so good. So that, that sounds really good. That sounds. Uh, good. Was, I might check so it out. I might check it out. And you also had like speed in it. I remember, like in the, in the prime yeah, battle, right? Yeah, but yeah, it was uh, not the main fight. But uh, there was like, uh, wasn't Logan Paul also yeah, like it fighting? Was triple. It was Rome, uh, Logan Paul versus uh, Randy Orton and uh, Kevin Owens. Well, that was but the, the fun thing was that Kevin, Kevin Owens and Randy Orton were like kind of friends in the in the story, and and Rogan was like, why, why the fuck? Uh, they're friends. It's two against one. It's not fair and shit. And then uh, they both beat the shit out of him for the first. Uh, half of the game but the funny funny thing in the story comes up because the fight is also trying to win so while they're beating him up the uh, Randy Orton tries to RKO Kevin Owens and Kevin <laughs> was like what are you doing and shit and stuff like that and uh, Speed trying to help Logan and shit that was really fun uh, bro, Speed got RKO'd, Logan, right? Logan Paul is such a good wrestler bro but he's an actual wrestler you know that right no he's like a wrestler wrestler but I mean as like a WWE yeah, wrestler yeah, yeah. bro he he, but he's a showman. He's fucking athletic. No, he's fucking athletic. No, but like, he that's what I'm saying. Mysterio shit. Nah, no, no, not on that level, but yeah, bro. Yeah, but he's, the, really but he's a wrestler. Man. Of course he's going to be athletic. No, no, not all wrestlers are athletic. Nah, but, uh, I'm pretty sure they are. Bro, he's also, also a good character, man. Logan Paul is my, might be one of the best things that happened to the WWE in the last five years. It makes sense, though, because he's, he's like he's a showman. Good, man. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't think that would be the case, but he even fought Rome Reigns and lost. So, shout out to him. Really? Yeah, in, uh, in Saudi, I think a year ago. It was know. like the main uh, event for all uh, there. Because uh, in uh, Saudi, for some reason, they love Logan Paul. Let them love him, man. So uh, they were like, yeah, we will bring you Romanists. And then WWE is really big in uh, Saudi. 
<laughs> Makes sense, bro. So that, was, wow, that was crazy. fun. And then the week after, I wanted to talk about the UFC. I wanted, but I don't know about the, the was the UFC that good? Uh, no, I'm a Max Holloway fan. Yeah, yeah. Max Holloway had the best fight of his career, probably. Why? What was so special about it? He's a featherweight. Mm-hmm. That means he's the skinny guy. Yeah. And he went up to lightweight to fight a guy that is lightweight. But actually, the guy always goes down to fight on lightweight. Yeah. Fighters most of the time go down. They don't really go, go up, up in weight. So that they can rehydrate after and get bigger and stuff. And uh, Max Holloway is uh, known for his boxing skills. And Justin Gage, who he, who he was fighting, is known for being a good all-round fighter, but also being really hard, a hard opponent. You know, he has a good chin. He always, uh, he's always hard, basically. <laughs> and, like uh, me for yeah, yeah. So a lot of people doubt, doubted Max, and they were like, yeah, Max is known for never going KO because he's got a strong chin. They were like, yeah, he's got a strong chin because he's a featherweight, but now he's going to understand the lightweight and he, he will get his first KO because Dustin KOs a lot of people too. And they were fighting, pop, pop, pop. Max outboxed him. Fight those five rounds because they were fighting for a fake belt, which uh, that's called the uh, BMF, Baddest Motherfucker. Why? Why is it the fake belt? Yeah, it's a cliche called "baddest motherfucker." You're not the champion or nothing. You're just the oh, baddest. It's, it's, a, it's a random. It's a random belt. Yeah, so there's one belt that kind of uh, was introduced as a joke, but it's a state. Okay. It's, uh, the guy that has it can cha- challenge somebody, or somebody challenges him to be the baddest motherfucker. Then you win, then you're the baddest motherfucker. But is there only one baddest motherfucker in the whole UFC? Yeah, yeah there's only one. But uh, a heavyweight can ch- challenge a lightweight, right? No, but yeah, that's. Uh, that's L on them, bro. So you gotta wait till this shit goes back yeah, up. Yeah, that's L on them, bro. So now it's the featherweight. Uh, no, it's not featherweight because Max fought on lightweight. Ah, okay. Fought on lightweight. So for first, for I think in the first round, he, I don't know if it's, if he really broke his nose, but he almost broke his, the nose of Justin Gage because he gave him one kick and the fight kind of got down from there. For less, five rounds, Max Holloway is winning. Yeah. Every fucking round. He's beating the shit out of him, literally. Yeah? Don't, for tell, the whole don't fight. tell me he got knocked out. No, for the whole fight. Yeah? The last 10 seconds of the fight, Max Holloway is kind of known for this. He did a couple of fights earlier. He says, he point, he goes to the middle of the ring and he points to the middle of the ring. And he said, let's bang. They just swing. So there is literally no reason for him to do that because yeah. he's winning the fight. Exactly. And there is a risk that he gets knocked the yeah, fuck yeah, out. Yeah. And he does. And fans go crazy because they know Max Holloway does this shit. Yeah. And Max Holloway is there to entertain the people. And then, bam, for 10 seconds, they swing heavy, bro. Pop, pop, pop. Some hit, pop, pop. Two seconds before the fight is done, nah. Max hits him. And well, Max hits goes him. KO. Pop. He falls on the floor. One second. The fight's done. Joe Rogan goes crazy. Ah, everybody's screaming and That's shit. That's crazy. Also, he didn't go crazy. He won 600k because of that, I think. Really? Because they had, there was a, you see, has bonuses of, uh, they have the fight of the night and the performance of the night. And fight of the night is 50k, a performance of the night is also 50k, I believe. But because it was UFC 300, it's like a mileage. F- somebody, some fan in the press conference asked Dana to make it 300. I, I, I heard okay, it. Dana said, let's make it 300. So, there's 300. No, no, no. The, the fighters were like, let's make, let's make it 150. And someone in the fans was like, let's make it 300. Yeah, yeah. Like, fuck it, bro. Yeah. Let's make it 300. So, fight of the night was 300. Uh, performance, of the, uh, performance of the night, 300. What is the number and based on? And them both. Like, what does UFC 300 mean? No, it's the number 300. So it's oh, so every single yeah, like the number after the 300 UFC? 301, 302, 303. Ah, okay. So it's the 300 I never UFC understood event. that. Now yeah, I, okay, 300 yeah, UFC uh, event. That's really nice. That's and, really nice. Uh, yeah, he, shout, he won shout 600k. Out to Amazing. Bro. I was happy for him. I like Max Lovis. Really, really, really One awesome moment guy. of silence for Dana White. He, he's starving. <laughs> <laughs> he's starving. <laughs> <laughs> and the other fights on the on there were also really fun. And there was like this woman. Uh, shit, I forgot his n- of her name, but for it's not fair, man. <laughs> really? After seeing her, bro, uh, what's her name? Shit, it, her name is like keeps popping up, bro. She's too huge for the women, man. <laughs> bro, if you see is she her, heavyweight? no, no, she's uh, the woman. I think straw weight is it's called the woman weight. Then she's like one thirty or thirty five, something like that. But 
Michaela Harrison or something, bro. So, bro, I saw her. I was like, bro, this this can't be fair, bro. <laughs> and, uh, she's an Olympic uh, judo uh, champion. Yeah, that uh, has been doing MMA for a couple of years now, and she was the unbeaten double champ in the only two women uh, classes in Bellator, I believe, or PFH, something like that. And then she was signed by the UFC, and she she beat the shit out of UFC legend in uh, one round. I'm correct. It was one round or two. No, two rounds. Two rounds. God, is this her? Yes. Oh, bro. This is not even a fair picture, bro. Bro, it's, I saw her in the ring, bro. She was so ripped and shit. Yeah, bro. She looks like it. You need to look at her opponent. And you all think, bro, this this cannot be fair, bro. But shout out to her, man. Well, I'm going to keep real. Usually, I'm, I'm like, someone someone does like, you know what? I could beat up like a female UFC yeah. fighter. No, she's, ju- she's the judo she, Olympic she can fuck champion, me up. bro. She can fuck two me times, up. I even believe. Two times Olympic ch- uh, you, uh, How judo does champion. She She'll beat the shit out of you, bro. And me too. Wait. I could... I could no, bro, I'm, bro, she's judo. You know she's what judo means, She's bro. 70 kgs, bro. You know what judo is, bro. She's 70 kgs, She beats kgs, the shit bro. out of you. It doesn't matter. She's she's, a, she's a Olympic uh, she's judo tall, champion. She's pretty tall, I'm not going to lie. How tall is she? 173. Actually, yeah, so pretty tall. That's pretty tall. Yeah. She can fuck me up. Bro, she's oh, sick, man. man. She's really sick, man. If she was if she was 10 centimeters shorter, She's going to be the champion in, in no time, man. It'd be like that, right. man. Nah, that's We're crazy. the two fun events of I love March, man. I love March, April. Why? Because the Cause weather all the the sports go crazy. The uh, Champions League is happening. The NBA finals start. Uh, champ- uh, NBA champ- yeah. uh, the the playoffs start, and the finals, of course. The UFC shit is going crazy always. So it's like a the only thing that's missing is like the NFL. No, not the, yeah the NFL. That's like in February usually. But even that was like in March. So we did. She had like. The American football happening, normal football happening, and, and basketball happening at the same time. Yeah, and it's like one after another. So if you're a sports fan, because uh, best time to live in. Exactly, and I'm saying for sports fan in general because a lot of people are saying like, "Oh yeah, I'm a sports fan," but the only thing that you like is football. Yeah, or like soccer for the Americans, or like NBA or whatever. Yeah. And if you're only a fan of one sport. I don't consider you a sports fan. Yeah, I yeah. consider you a football fan, but not a sports fan. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta be interested in. Look, look, I used to not be interested in NFL, and I got interested in that. Not interested. Oh, actually, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty. It's it's really fun. That would be fun if you said, and I'm still not interested. <laughs> yeah. No, I was. I got into NFL because because of COVID. I, there was like this. I used to play NFL on on my PlayStation, yeah. and I was like, this is a really fun game. And there was one team that I chose, the Chiefs. And that's what I like because they're red. Usually I go with a team that has red in the colors, yeah. always. Because my favorite teams always have red in them. So I was like, fuck it. I'm a Chiefs fan now. Red also is a symbol of breeding time. <laughs> what? Yes, that's, why, that's why lipsticks are red. That's crazy. I didn't know that. When, when a woman is, uh, I, don't, I don't know how to say it, it's virtual, I think. Uh, when she's yeah, ready to fer- make fertile. baby. What's, yeah. that, what's that called? Virtual. Fertile. In like the period a woman is most highly uh, likely to get pregnant, I think, and yeah. lips get really red. Really? Yeah, and that's why the, that's, and that men get attracted by that. Ah. Unconscious, uh, subconscious. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why red lipsticks oh. are uh, red. I also like the teams. Like, I used to be a Gold Strike fan. Yeah. I still am. Then I went, I, we live in Ro- Rotterdam. Well, Gold had the funniest uh, cup final i ever seen. Have you seen yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Fenerbahce. But they just they scored in the first 50 seconds. They just left. And I just <laughs> left. <laughs> Shout out to Fenerbahce. Fenerbahce are like the, the Donald Trump of Turkey, I think, man. Possibly. They're always in some controversy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember like 10 years ago when they like won. Yeah. And they didn't win, so they started like writing and shit. Yeah. You know about that? Yeah, yeah I remember, I remember. That shit was also hilarious, man. Nah, I was a Gold Star fan. Uh, I became a Chicago Bulls fan because of family members that love Chicago Bulls. Then I just stick with the team, man, because they suck, and I'm there. Yeah. No, no, I'll, I had a, I had this talk today too. It's better to support a team that loses than a team that always wins. On this, bro, seeing a win, our team always wins is not fun. I think. But you know what's not fun, bro? When your team finally starts winning after years of you being bad, people start start calling you bandwagon. Yeah, yeah. or that makes me go crazy. Um, I remember one year, bro, the Bulls were finally good after like six years that I'm a fan of them, bro. And every single year, I got clowned for having the worst Bulls uh, team, whatever, because they have like 
they had a very bad front office. Like general managers were yeah. horrible. And they finally won, started winning the first year, bro. And I was like celebrating that shit every single, but I kid you not, there's 82 games in one season of the Bulls and they won, I think maybe 40 matches. Every single one of those matches, I was on my story blasting that shit. Cause we also had like DeMar DeRozan, uh, Lonzo Ball and Zach Levine. Yeah. And their nickname was the Ball Zach. <laughs> <laughs> so every single night yeah. I was posting videos saying you got beat by the Ball Zach and shit. Uh, every single night, bro. And then people started saying like, bro, why are you even posting them? You're a bandwagon now. Uh, how do you support them? You don't even live in America. Bro, <laughs> she gets me, man. That's but now the playoffs started yeah. and usually the the Bulls play really bad during the playoffs and they don't make it into the playoffs mm -hmm. the past few years because Lonzo Ball's been injured. But this year, Jimmy Butler got injured and usually I'm for Jimmy Butler because he's an old Bulls player yeah. and he's like the, the next best thing I have instead of my Bulls going to the finals yeah. and he goes to the finals pretty uh, e easy because he's fucking amazing. In the f like he, he's one of those players that literally doesn't do anything until the playoffs start and out of nowhere, he's the best player in the NBA. Literally. Mm -hmm. Man's man literally goes from scoring five player. points to to one assist, one rebound, and then you see him partying with Neymar every single night to go and I'm not gonna shave till I reach the finals, and he reaches the finals. Shout out to him, man. That's crazy, you know. No, there's a big game player. He's a, a he's a really good. Yeah. He's a, he literally doesn't give a fuck about the single like the regular season. But the problem is, the NBA changed the rules up, and now if you're seventh and eighth seed out of fifteen. You got to play against each other to see who's going to get one of the playoff spots. Yeah. And if you lose that, you're going to play against the winner of 9 and 10 seed and see who's going to go to the playoffs. So the first game, in the first quarter, he gets injured. Uh, they lose the match. Yeah. And now they got to play against the Bulls. And if the Bulls win, the Bulls the Bulls go to the playoffs. The I'm going to be happy. Uh, exactly, because he's injured for a few weeks now, apparently. But do you, do you think without him, they, I think so. they lose? I think so, yeah. I'm I'm pretty yeah, confident about that. Uh, we will see, man. Unless yeah. unless their players, the, the what Miami also is known for is that the team is made out of people that literally have no game. They play horrible, but their coach is so good that people that literally have averaged like two points a game out of nowhere for the whole season average thirty points a game. That's crazy, but like Gotta you know, be coke. what? <laughs> That's nah, they call it the the Miami culture. They literally call it heat, heat culture. No, That's no. their whole like Miami thing. Heat is a sick name, bro. It is a sick name. Shout out to the guy that came up with it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, either way, two of my teams are gonna one of the two of my teams is gonna go go yeah. to the NBA. And I can't wait for that. It's tonight actually. Yeah. And in half an hour they're gonna be playing. And the rest of the playoffs is gonna be fun too. And there's some really good matchups. Yeah. And I just can't wait for it, man. There's like yeah. there's like certain rivalries going on that have been going on for the past few years and those specific teams go against each other. Like last year, the Lakers lost in the semifinals versus the Nuggets, the reigning champions. Actually, not, not the reigning champions, the, the previous champions, the current reigning champions. And this year, they go against each other in the first round. So immediately they started going against each other. And Luka Doncic, uh, you know, probably would look at this, right? Yeah. He, he has a, a few year track history where he goes against the LA Clippers that have like Kawhi Leonard and shit. The guy that loves yeah. oh, oh, oh. I love Kawhi Leonard. And they play against each other and he like fucking murdered them. Yeah. Every single year. Because he's like really, really fucking good. And this year they start off first round as well. And two young teams go against each other as well. And like there's like a team that literally is made out of very, very young people that uh, that shouldn't be here, also here. So there's like so many like great options to watch. And the only... The only bad ones, I would say, is the Bulls versus the Celtics, because mm -hmm. the Celtics are a really fucking good team. They literally like have the infinity stones at this point. And that's about it, to be honest, because the rest is just... It's, it's a really, really fucking good playoff series so far. So yeah, this year is going to be fun. Definitely. Yeah. Just can't wait to watch it. So yeah, yeah tonight, I'm going to be watching that shit. The first games are yeah. going. How long is one uh, NBA game match? Um, officially, breaks. it's forty-eight minutes. Forty-eight minutes, okay. Yeah, oh, but long. when you have free throws, the time the time freezes. So, what happened in the last few years is that the last quarter sometimes lasted forty minutes on its own because people kept fouling, keep, people kept calling timeouts, this and that. Yeah. 
and they changed some rules up so that it doesn't get fouled as much. So yeah, I don't know how it's gonna be this season. They changed some rules up so that people can't get fouled as easier because the NBA has different rules than the FIBA in Europe. Yeah. So yeah, they they it's it's better. I haven't really paid attention to the NBA this season that much because I just been busy with other stuff. Uh, and I think it's it's gonna be better hopefully and not be that that long to watch. I just I just don't want it to be that long, man. There's literally last year there were times where twelve minutes lasted you forty eight minutes. Yeah, because like all the timeouts and the coaches were like, "Oh yeah, review this play. We don't. We, he didn't foul him. This and that." And the refs were just bad sometimes too. So it's uh, yeah, with yeah. sports, you know, yeah, yeah. that happens. And football is way better in in my opinion. You just yeah. get the added time at the end, and that's yeah. it. The, the, the clock doesn't stop at but all. Football is also long, but ninety minutes is. But the clock doesn't stop, yeah. so you know that one match is going to take you a hundred and twenty minutes max yeah. if it doesn't go into extension extended time. Yeah. This there is no limit on how long it can last yeah. because every single team has like eight timeouts, and the eight timeouts can last one minute, and then the players can go onto the court like it can last thirty seconds. Before you know, the twelve minutes is literally 30, 40 minutes because it takes so long. You know, people fight on the court, time stops. Yeah. Someone spills a drink on the court. Time stops. You gotta clean this up. The time stops way too often. Yeah. It's uh, interesting, man. But it's also a very high pace. So every single second doesn't matter. So I get why the time yeah. stops, you know. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> Talking about time stopping. Time to stop? Time to stop. How long have we been in recording? I don't think it's one hour only, right? No, not even an hour. Actually, yeah, this is one hour and five minutes. I yeah. thought it was very longer. No, no. Did my, story, my story was just, it sounded long, but it was not really. No, no, I thought, really, we, I thought it was for 10 minutes. We, we, we started late. I thought we started at 11. It was uh, it was 11.30 when we started. No, no, it's a short episode. It's not time to stop, I guess. Uh, like is there game. anything that you want to talk about? Any plans, maybe? Create a new logo. <laughs> Any idea? Uh, I don't know. I was thinking actually. about... Us in scientific clothing mixing shit. No, I don't think so. That 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 sounds a bit whack, to be honest. But not us, of course. I real. I mean, like, I don't want us like drawn, to be honest. The thing with the osmosis is, well, we didn't have it constantly consistent. It's it's, it's a small word. Yeah. So if we don't have to like fill up the rest with something else yeah. necessarily, we can have like one big word in the middle. Mm. It's a very interesting thing. I don't know, man. I uh, I don't really have an idea. I thought about trying to visualize the meaning of it. Actually, I don't know. Well, maybe somebody will know. Let us know in the comments, man. <laughs> you have an idea of something. The only probably, other thing. Probably when this gets uploaded, do we yeah. have a logo? I hope so. Uh, if not, I will make a placeholder. Yeah. Yeah, that just says osmosis in a funny Actually, no, way. No, no. We just keep the consistent consistent until we have the logo. Okay, okay. Yeah, we just do no that. placeholder. Have you paid attention to the Drake and, and Kendrick drama? You know what? We're pretty much uh, done with the main subjects. So I'm just gonna uh, rattle a little bit before we before we end it because it's I'm getting thinking, late. Man. Uh, there was also something that I wanted to say, but I forgot about it. It's pretty late. You know, we'll keep it for the next episode. We'll it's keep that for the next episode. Well, we let's just let's just five. Let's let's just man. like just we do need an air go. Yeah. This this is I do see this a lot actually. Like some podcasts have this where they like for one hour they talk about educational shit that actually people have something to to <sighs> to take from. Uh. And the other hour they just vibe in, chilling, talking about life. Yeah, but there's not much to talk about life for us because There is. We need an airco. Yeah, we need an airco. If any of you guys know someone that like sells an airco or has an airco, just let me know, man. I'll come pick it up. <laughs> What if he's in a different country? Actually, that's a, I'm going to talk about it on this. I, w- I want to add stuff to our podcast episodes. What do you want to add? A little, f- a little vlog. A little five-minute trip vlog. I think a vlog is too much. I think a behind-the-scenes footage will be behind fun. Behind-the-scenes is also a vlog. What the fuck is this a vlog? <laughs> video life of... A video blog. General. It's a video blog, bro. Oh, ah, what's a, what does blog stand for? It's like you can talk about something. Let me search that up. 
Bro, uh, behind the scenes is also is also a vlog. No, that's BTS. Uh, but B- BTS video is a vlog. It's not a vlog. What is a vlog? Is it a vlog? Is it the vlog? A vlog, a person, website, or a social media account where a person regularly posts short videos. <laughs> <laughs> you can add travel vlogs to the growing list or <laughs> what the fuck is this they don't even explain it short for a video blog or video log what does a blog mean look at what a blog uh, means a, lo- a vlog is a blog in video form <laughs> look think, of it, think of it as your own title I uh, know think of it of your own little TV show or channel only it's on the web look, at what, by l- you, look at what the vlog means st- staring you and there are a number of platforms where you can create, okay, let me see what a plug is. What is a blog? Blog. A regularly updated website or a <laughs> page. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me, let me use this series now. Uh, this is uh, a blog or a web blog. It's a personal diary or essay on a website that gets updated regularly. So it's, uh, BTS is not a blog. It is. No, no, no. A bit it's a personal uh, diary. Di- diary thing. But a vlog is more like what we do in a day. Look at Casey Neistat. Did you ever watch Casey Neistat? Bro, the, yeah, but he did. He, what he did was also vlogging, but that's not the only way to vlog. Travel vlogs are vlogs. But there has to be more than just a BTS vlogs. funny moment. No. I'm thinking of like a funny moment at the end of the show. I think you're thinking about a whole video. No, I'm thinking, I'm, video thinking video like a, I'm thinking like I'm thinking of like a 30 second clip at the end of the show where it's just something funny. Yeah, baby. You know, that that's that's funny. That gives a reason for people to watch. <sighs> I'm so fucking tired, bro. That might even, you might do giveaways. In no, I'm, I'm watching uh, Great Teacher on Suka, but the TV, Japanese TV show. It's a uh, really, really good, man. Yeah, the you what? don't know what the Great Teacher on Suka is. Isn't that the shit that you guys watched? What? I don't know, actually. Hey, what the what fuck is it? What the fuck you saying? A great Teacher uh, on Suka or... Also known as GTO, it's uh, a manga. Someone told me to watch this. A manga is about. Uh, Did you tell me to watch this? Shit? Maybe I don't know. It's about uh, Onisuka, who was a delinquent, uh, who was in a murder uh, cycle gang. Oh, I know and this. You told me he, you watched. It, you told me to watch. He, it. Wa- he always wanted to be a teacher, but he never. Yeah, he never finished school or anything, but he somehow manages to land a job. And uh, he is this him? No, no, it's not him. <laughs> then it's like Ruby Ray, bro. <laughs> and uh, his name is Onizuka. And uh, yeah, and uh, the the, no, the this dude's name is Onizuka. <laughs> I don't know this is the French French rapper Onizuka or from uh, PNL, I think, or something. Onizuka. There is from PNL. What the fuck from, is that? There's a French group called PNL. They make a song. They, I think their song was called Onizuka. Do you know Piano? They're I've one never of the heard biggest of French uh, artists. I know the guy that wants Kylian Mbappé. <laughs> <laughs> They're bigger no. than him. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Piano, bro, they had 2015, 16, 17 on luck, bro. Nah, you're Every, lying to I God, bro, everybody was listening to them. Everywhere I go, I was hearing them. Let me hear the song. They don't, they make like uh, pop, uh, d- uh, pop uh, R&B songs. What's like a good song from them? Onisuka. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a big song? Yeah, I think that's uh, one of their biggest. Definitely top 10. I don't think so. It has 65 million views. That's crazy, actually. Le Monde ou Rien has 440 million views. I don't know the names, bro. But then again, back to my story. So he managed to land a job somehow. And uh, the, sc- the principal of the school likes him. She wants him to work for the school. But the head teacher... Like the guy under her doesn't want the guy. So to give him an excuse to accept him, she says, okay, I will give him class two, uh, two, f- four. And that's like the problem class. So the teacher is like, okay, the problem class, they made their last three substitute teachers quit. They will make him quit to him. They will make a mistake. So he accepts it. And Inosuka becomes the teacher of the problem class, but he's not a teacher. He literally has no skill. He knows nothing. And so he just goes to class and he has fun. He tries to have fun with his students, but the students hate him because they hate teachers. Because one of their classmates got uh, groomed by uh, their uh, last teacher. No, no, groomed, groomed. Ah, okay. Not grape. 
got groomed by the last teacher and uh, I think she committed suicide because he left or something something uh, came in the news and was, I don't remember really so they hated they started to hate adults they were like we can't trust them because they trusted the guy and the thing he did with their classmate and she yeah. died stuff like that so they always try to get rid of the teachers and they prank him they do a lot of horrible shit like uh, to him for example like photoshopping on him on uh, BDSM stuff and <laughs> hanging it through the school and uh, stuff like that and uh, he somehow uh, every every episode you see him uh, building a relationship when, uh, with one of his students and you see that he actually genuinely cares about the students he doesn't really care about school, school much but he cares about them so he cares about their family situation. He cares about their if they're having friends. One of his one of the kids is getting bullied, and he saves him and he teaches them how to, uh, come, uh, yeah, how to be, be a man or uh, a woman. Also, he teaches one of his uh, students and how to chase your dreams and stuff like that. So it's a really wholesome uh, show. Okay, but I'm I watched the anime and I'm watching the TV show now because I was bored and I couldn't find something to watch and I suddenly saw it and I was like, okay, actually, let me try it and it's really good, man. It's, uh, it has a different twist to the manga. Maybe Furkan told me. Yeah, Furkan watched it too. Uh, Furkan told me then to watch it. The Twitch, uh, the, they have a different storyline on the TV show but some similarities too. So I've been watching it. It's really nice, man. I'm watching Berserk. Yeah, you watched two episodes or something. No, I watched four. It's, uh, the, it's uh, I think, two to 23 episodes, right? 20, the first, 24, I think. The first six, I think, episodes are really slow. Yeah, it was no, really no. slow. They are really quick. That's what makes them slow. A lot of things happen in the first. Uh, it's like so. It's the, there's a lot of time skips back and forth. Yeah, so it's yeah, like kind of confusing yeah, what's happening. Yeah. Where am I at? So they, you get kind of confused. And then <laughs> when does the grave happen? <laughs> from uh, episode uh, seven to 20, I believe, it gets really good. I saw okay, really like really deep in uh, the characters and stuff, and then the last three are also interesting. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting. Talking about that, bro, I, was, I I I saw like this meme from Reddit, and this girl was telling her pain, and and she was like going like, "Yeah, this happened to me. I got graved, uh, this and that." And the top comment was, uh, "Guts from Berserk had that happen too. Maybe you should watch it." <laughs> That's wild, that's wild. So and, people, then, and then someone replied, the subreddit's gonna shut down for a week. <laughs> <laughs> it was a moderator of the subreddit. Uh, <laughs> bro, how can you say? Berserk you say, fans, bro. You can relate, that's wild. That's actually wild. That's wild. Well, yeah. He was like, you should watch <laughs> you can relate. No, but in the, in the, in the anime, they made, they made it subto. Subto, is that the word? Yeah. You don't yeah, see it? You don't see the guy getting hold down? I see that, but uh, in the story, uh, there are a lot of scenes they skip. For example, Guts also got gripped yeah, as yeah, a child. Yeah. Did they skip yeah. that one? And they don't really show you that in the, uh. in the... in the But no, actually, there is a part of the anime that they show you. I think that's almost, almost like the end, maybe 15 or 16. He, I think you will really find it fascinating to see that, how that <laughs> happens and shit. <laughs> Not him, but how how he exp how how that comes up to topic. Ah, okay, 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 okay. It's, uh, <laughs> Not the act itself. Berserk was like one of the only animes that, after watching the last episode, I was like, "Why, bro? Really? How the fuck? Bro? How did it end like this, bro? Why?" Is but this it didn't end? really end. No, but the first the first season. Ah, okay, okay. I was okay. like, bro, what the fuck? It was really good. I have a Doro. So good, bro. I was like, no. But Doro, I didn't have that, bro. It's, uh, I had it so in I the end. I was annoyed, bro. I was laying in my bed. I was like, bro, why? Why? Why did this happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Griffith still did nothing wrong, man. I think if you watch the thing, uh, you'll agree with me too. That's a wild thing to say. No, it's not a wild thing to say because you don't know Griffith. I think if you watch the anime, you will start to learn Griffith. So episode 7 to 20, you will learn more about Griffith. Everyone that I've talked about and I, I, I said that you say in this shit, Told me that, that you're just saying it no, for jokes. No, wallahi, bro. Yeah, wallahi. <laughs> <laughs> My genuine opinion, Griffith is nothing wrong. Uh, I will watch it. I will be genuine. I don't want to spoil it for you, but I, if you you see the if you literally, literally paid attention, I think the problem is a lot of people with a lot of shows side with the main character. Yeah, but Griffith, his story is so good, and if you see the shit he went through to achieve stuff and why he wanted to achieve stuff and what it meant he did the right thing at the end 
Uh, was, uh, it's, it's all God, actually, it's not all God's fault. It was, it, it was destined to happen. I will watch it. I'm so busy with it. I finished, I finished The Last Airbender. Yeah. And Korra. And Korra, officially as well. Korra is... Korra season four is horrible. Yeah, well, season four was kind of strange, but... Season four with the Colossus and shit? Yeah. That season is horrible. I'm going to keep it real. Korra season three with Zaheer. Zaheer was that motherfucker, bro. It's crazy. I was just, Zaheer was so good, bro. Zaheer, when he started to Zaheer fight, bro, is I was the, like... Zaheer is one of the best parts of the show. I was like, yeah, man. I'm going to keep it real. The, the way Zaheer just drops off the cliff and he just, he just that motherfucker, bro. I was like, yeah. yeah. yeah bro. But it was also because they never hinted like flying through that season. They did. I don't remember. With the, the with the flashbacks. Flashbacks? Yeah. I, I watched it a long time ago. I in season, in season two, yeah. it's like the spirit world stuff. Yeah. And Korra loses her touch with Rava. Yeah. And when she has to like regain her tr- touch with Rava, she sees how the first avatar, Juan, uh, got together with Rava. Yeah. And when he went into like the spirit, the outside worlds and shit, and he got firebending and he was just chilling, you know, he saw the airbenders yeah. and the airbenders just jumped off cliffs and they were oh, flying. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah, they were flying. Yeah. But that was lost because people couldn't let go of the earthly something. Yeah, yeah, because uh, the airbenders lost being able to fly when they met the air bisons because their connection was strong together. Oh. So, because the airbenders are so good friends with the air bisons, they can't fly. They have to let go of that connection, yeah, but they don't do that. Okay. They can't let go of Alpha and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. the second, because like when you're in, like even season four, when the airbenders come back and everything, you see that they everyone chooses an air bison to have on, on their own and has a, like a special connection with them and everything. Yeah. So, and this is because of that, airbenders can't fly anymore. Well, so I, I didn't uh, catch that part. Nah, so I, it was good. Um, season three was peak, but even then, I'm gonna keep it real. Korra was the worst part of season three. Her as a character, or her as a character. Yeah, but this also, I think that's like what makes the show. Her not being good. I think like her being uh, no, but really I mean, I like, know not like, like as a character wise. Ah, okay. Like her character itself is like. There's so there's certain stuff that I just dislike you mean like about she, the side the, characters and the main really characters. Have personality or something. Yeah, her personality was just pretty bland, and like the side characters, they just weren't good. Like Mako in season one, he started off as like Zuko for four episodes, yeah. and then he just made a full one eighty, and then out of nowhere, after he broke up with Korra, he's like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a agent now, and he has like the weirdest like one eighties. Yeah. Zuko had. I'm gonna keep it real. Zuko was a great character. Yeah. What even even if you take out Aang and his story in, in Avatar: Last Airbender, the side characters were amazing. Yeah, you had Zuko. Zuko's story or how he was the fucking the, the blue devil and shit. Yeah. That shit was amazing. You know how he just saved shit and Iro Uncle Iro was also amazing. They just had to put Uncle Iro in Korra to make Korra good at some parts. Yeah, but I, yeah, I just didn't like the grown version of the Last Airbender crew. Why not? Uh, they just didn't but they were old. I don't mean when they were grandpas, but the flashbacks when they were like in their prime, they didn't really. But there was only like one part, bro. Yeah, uh, it, it didn't look good. That's what I'm saying. Why not? It didn't look good. Uh, grown up, Ang didn't look like Ang, bro. He did look like. No, Aang. I didn't look like. What Aang. part of him what didn't look like? Sokka Aang? was also. I uh, saw so grown up Sokka was like. I wouldn't think he would look like that. Sokka they did good. Grandpa Sokka was uh, good. They were like thirty. Like but the flashback was tough like was years tough. They tough did was also tough. Tough was tough too. Katara, Katara also looked like a fat girl. <laughs> 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 no, but that's old. They had to make it. No, and she it was short suddenly. No, but people shrink. No, but they didn't have to do her dirty like that. But she already like had a, a growth spurt. Because she was 14, 15. In the original no, but show. But the flashback she was tall. No, right? Yeah, yeah look it up, look it up. Even nah. Toph, even Toph was tall on the fucking flashbacks, bro. But Toph was, that was crazy. But Toph was pretty tall, right? No, no, Toph was always. Uh, but they, they shrunk, bro. They shrunk. No, 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 they got old. That's, that's even much. Zuko got shorter. No, no, no. Zuko had a, had a, I don't know how do you call that. His back was uh, twisted. But Katara too. had the same shit. No, she just looks like fat grandma, bro. Nah. Got a little choppy. But oh, we're gonna see the movie. 
There's uh, going to be Ang movie the, next year. Are you going to watch the Netflix? I watched it already. And? That's why I'm watching Last Airbender. That's not good? Because it's horrible. Why it was horrible? The casting is horrible, bro. Bro, the, the, the people expect too much from. Nah, from bro. The I'm gonna keep it real, bro. The certain characters just look horrible, and apparently, One Piece, the, the One Piece casting was it's good. It's really good, really but nice. w- even without that, bro, I knew the shit was gonna be horrible. The second when the original writers of the story stopped with the project, they were like, "We're out." And what also happened was certain shit was just weird, you know, like with the King Boomy stuff. Yeah. Uh. So King Bumi fights Aang and Aang is like motivated because Katara and, and Thing are like, you know. Near. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the secret tunnel, Aang and Katara hold hands and they like, you know, they, they're like in love and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. They change that shit up completely. Now Aang, Bumi already, Aang already knows who Bumi is. From the get-go. From the get-go. Yeah. So they just fight randomly. Out of nowhere, they literally just randomly fight. And Katara and Sokka are stuck in the secret tunnel somewhere completely different and uh, Aang just fights Boomy and Boomy's just mad at Aang there's like no deeper story he's just, yeah. he's just mad at him <laughs> and like the first episode of Avatar Last Airbender you see Ava- you see Aang go into the Avatar stance you know, on the ship Yeah. And remove the Avatar stance the, he doesn't go into the Avatar stance people were also mad because the one of the like the elderly woman from the water tribe told him he's the Avatar they're like, why the fuck is she telling him he's the after? He's supposed to know he's the after. That's I why he fled that. the whole I, fucking... I, I skipped the whole reason he was stuck on the fucking yeah. bar, ice ball was because he fled. Because he knew I think he they also after. changed that. I don't think he was fleeing. I think he, they changed it to to something else. Yeah, maybe, and also, okay, like, in the, in the story, like, Aang doesn't want to be the avatar. So he wants to have fun. He wants to go from A to B, you know, do yeah. all this fun stuff, you know, go penguin sliding and so. It was uh, on, the, on the TV show. The reason he didn't want to be the after was... Because he got, uh, he didn't, he wasn't free no more. Yeah. And like the one. But even without that, he was a kid as well. He had like a yeah. joy in his spirit, you know. He wanted to go. He literally said, "Oh, let's go elephant f- uh, koi fish riding and this and that," you know, all that mm-hmm. stuff. In the show, literally from the start, he's like, "Oh, I'm the avatar. I should be doing the right thing." But I'm like, if that's your character from the get go, why did you even like, f- like escape to begin with? Yeah. If the, if you're telling me that he didn't escape, then okay, who knows. I don't know what the so I didn't watch the Netflix. I don't I, know what the I, I'm not sure. Story is. But but basically, let's say he did escape. Why did you like out of nowhere after escaping and got stuck in the fucking ice and everything? You're all all of a sudden like, yeah, I'm the avatar. I should be doing this and that, bro. Like, why did you even escape if if you were the avatar? You should be doing this. You were that. just flying, and then the storm came. Doesn't make sense. The that that Sokka is also not not as sexist, but it's kind of weird how it's put in the story. They kind of make it even worse because he doesn't have character development. He's like sexist to be sexist and not to to actually improve as a character. Oh, bro, I don't like the I don't, the the show. They kind of they took away the stuff that actually made sense, and certain stuff just looks bad, and it just certain characters look horrible. It's not Dragon Ball Evolution. I'm gonna keep it real. You know the the print the Moon Princess. Yeah, Goku looks better than her, bro. <laughs> Go get the look at her. Shut up. Did she at least have white hair. Yes, she did. Okay, then uh, she already looks better than Goku. But oh, no, nah, Goku had better hair. No, nah, and Goku. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you remember it. I, I exactly remember it. I watched the Dragon Ball Evolution like four Evolution times. Evolution was so ass, bro. Nah. I, I don't know. I, I never understood why they were trying to make them American. That's the only thing that I didn't understand. They were just trying to claim Goku for some reason. It'd be like that, bro. I remember the uh, the, the actor for Goku. Kuririn. I apologize. Shout out to Kuririn, man. Bro, all right. So in the original Last Airbender, she looks like this. Yeah. So the M. Night Shyamalan live action, the one that people hate, she looks like this. It was pretty good. Yeah. In this version, she looks like this, bro. It's not that deep, man. It is that deep, bro. Right, bro. In this show, on this picture, it doesn't look that bad. But in the show, it looks like I could be better Princess Yue than her. Okay. With my beard but and yeah. everything. What did, I, what did we learn from our uh, previous episodes? People just love to hate, man. And I think no, this, one of this I, I'm going to keep it real. Certain, I, certain things should be untouched. Make something new. Uh, I kind of agree with that, but I think the, the thing is that they were trying to make something new with it. 
Yeah, but don't you do that. But that's where you go wrong. I'm gonna no, keep real. No, this show for no, someone I, that hasn't that. I'm for, for the yourself. for the for the current generation of kids yeah. that have never watched Avatar the Last Airbender. If you watch this, you're gonna have a blast. You're gonna enjoy this because you know you're a kid. I'm gonna keep it real. Kids love to watch everything. I also love to watch the fucking Ben 10 uh, live action movies. Those those were actually fired though. But the <laughs> <laughs> that that shit was fire, you know. But certain things, bro. It's not meant for us at this point. But don't market it as, as something that Avatar fans are gonna love. The one thing I can't wait for is the Ang movie that's gonna come out next next year. Bro, how many Avatar things are going to come out, bro? Uh, next year is gonna be the new Avatar. Yeah. The the Earthbender. Yeah. The one after Korra. Uh, a movie from the original group is gonna come out. Uh, you know I, that that Avatar will have interactions with Korra, right? No. <sighs> no, because Ang is still alive. I mean the Earth guy. The Earth guy is gonna have connections. Oh, yeah, with, uh, yeah. she will, uh, instead of sense. flashbacks with Ang or Roku, she will see flashbacks yeah, yeah, with Korra. That's not bad. She will say, "Yo, what up, man?" Because Korra <laughs> Kor also wrote like a book, what every single Avatar told her and shit. Oh, okay, that's good. At least she did something. Yeah, to give on to the next Avatar because she lost all that stuff. But yeah, that happened. That's not even bad. Uh, the Ang movie is gonna come out where Ang is like thirty years old and they're gonna fight uh, Batista. Shout to Batista, man. I haven't really seen much of him in movies, but he has great movies, bro. He's in Dune. Yeah. You should watch Dune, bro. Yeah, I was, uh, was thinking of watching it yesterday, but I was like, bro, it's two a.m. Man, let me sleep. Oh. And then I didn't sleep. I watched GTA till seven. <laughs> <laughs> Dune is. Uh, I, I said it again, bro. Dune two is one of the best movies. I've no, I'm going to watch it. Watch it. I was thinking of watching Lord of the Rings first. I saw like a one clip of Lord of the Rings. I was Which like, what? It was like the the kid found the they, the two kid children were found by a guy, and he was like, "Where's the other guy that was with you guys?" And they're like, "He was never with us." And I'm friend of Boric or something. It's like Boromir. You, you, yeah, he said, you knew Boromir, and then uh, I I stopped because I didn't want to get spoiled. I didn't want to know if he died or something. So I just that's a, that's, a, that's a really good <laughs> place to stop. <laughs> I just stopped. Uh, yeah, I don't want to know who this nigga is. Uh, that's a really good place to stop. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say what's, ha- what's gonna happen. There's g- something happening with that yeah. the whole place, but it's a very good place to stop. Uh, we should if we're gonna watch Lord of the Rings, I'm, I'm down to watch it with you. Uh, I haven't watched it in a while. How long is it? Four hours. The whole trilogy or only the or first one? One part. Like three and a half hours. God damn. Dune also lasts three hours, bro. Yeah, I know, but Lord of the Rings has like five parts, right? Three. Okay. And Dune has two right now. Yeah. Uh, There's also The is. Hobbit, but The Hobbit is just don't watch it. No, I'm not going to watch The Hobbit. It doesn't look interesting. No, it doesn't sound interesting either. The problem with The Hobbit was uh, Lord of the Rings was really. Uh, if you look the behind the scenes stuff of Lord of the Rings, you wanted to be there. Literally. They, they, it took them five, six years to record the whole shit. And they m- recorded like three movies at the same time and they built all the sets and it was amazing. You know, like, yeah. it was crazy. I don't get that, man. What? TV shows from 15 years ago or maybe a little bit longer, they look way better than now or in movies. Because certain things cost more money. So why are they not doing it? Because the the studios are like, we don't want to pay that money, use green screen. Oh, that's fucked, man. Yeah. Because well, if like you look at Game, Game, Lord- Game of Thrones was sick. Yeah. What the shit. But if you look at Lord of the Rings, bro, Lord of the Rings is so good. Like, everything is built. Yeah. They literally built, like, sets and everything, and there were, like, floods happening. And if you look at the behind-the-scenes footage, I, I watched, like, an hour, full-hour special, like, of behind-the-scenes, and it was so fun to watch it. And I was like, this is actually, like, it feels like everyone's connected. And, like, when they made The Hobbit, it they made, like, the Lord of the Rings is three books mm-hmm. made into three movies. Mm-hmm. But a very big book is, like, 1,200 pages. Pretty, yeah. pretty much and The Hobbit is like 300 pages and they made that into three books you know no yeah. three movies I mean interesting so th- it doesn't really work you know because you have yeah. less material so they stretched out certain parts so bad and there's like moments where Gandalf the actor he literally like broke down crying Gandalf the one that says you shall not pass. Yeah, yeah yeah like he broke down crying because in the first movies they work with perspectives oh, the actor crying. yeah 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 okay. So they work with perspectives so that the actor was in the same room with the rest and they just like moved stuff up, you know, from like sp- yeah. specific angles. And in this one, the, he literally, the whole movie, he did not see anyone. It was literally everything's green screen. 
Listen. He was acting alone the whole time. And it's an old man, you know? So he's like so happy to be like back p- p- acting with people together, having fun like back in the days. And now he's like, yeah, it costs too much money to build the whole set again. Here, green screen, talk to nobody the whole fucking 60 days of recording this shit. Yeah. So yeah, it'd be like that, man. No, I was I was wondering if that was uh, in the POV. But yeah. I think it's time to end, man. So now it's time to end. Anything to say? I love silence. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> no you can stop. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. And uh, Love you. Uh, bye. bye.